what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel so we do have an exclusive free marvel and we're going to do a test build showcase auras emblems exclusives discussion skills as well and uh, we're going to test her i'm going to like, i haven't really played around with her and i do mean by playing in the game with her for all of you who don't think that way um i'm going to play around with her on the video again in the game and just see how she is we're going to test in pve and we're going to test in pvp as well so yes you may see some bad gameplay but that's also very vital to have it's pointless me coming on here and showing you you know look at this clip look at this destroyed it that's not good no that's no good you need to also see the bad bits too and every hero has them so we will go through it together and try and figure out how exactly they do work and I really wouldn't want to influence you to pull unless it's worth it. Unless it's worth it. So let's have a discussion. Let's talk about it. Um, we'll go through everything. And uh, yeah, it'll take a while, but it's worth it. Uh, so the basic attack deals 240% attack damage to a single enemy and refreshes the duration of all attribute debuffs. Now, what that means is any like defense down, uh, tenacity, uh, you know, down, um, defense down, uh, speed down it is an attribute so all of those will get extended it will get extended now wait speed down wow I, I only just thought of that when i said that speed down being extended as well that is an attribute speed is an attribute right that must get extended and if that's the case that is insane okay i don't know if that's true yet i haven't tested it we're going to try and test that in this as well. Uh, there's a 10% chance to act one extra turn after casting fish water ball proactively. This effect can be triggered continuously. Which means as she's doing that, if she is getting... It is a low chance, okay? It's, it's a 15% chance. But if that happens, you will get another cooldown. Not bad, right? Uh, clean ocean, uh, which we wish was everywhere in the world, right? Uh, restores all allies max health by eight percent meanwhile cleanses five layers of damage over time debuffs and all attribute debuffs from all allies and grants them one layer of block removal for two turns okay remember block removal does have a timeout period block removal consumes one layer and invalidates the incoming removal effect up to three layers now i just will say quickly with say going against Neskama, what's going to happen what's going to happen is because Neskama steals um, he will strip you still. He will still strip you, but he just won't steal the buffs, which I think isn't quite right. You know, block removal is block removal. So why, although he's kind of stealing them, it still shouldn't be able to be removed. They should be attached to that hero they should not be able to be stolen even though he can't steal them they go nowhere they just vanish they just vanish um but then i guess he is also stealing block removal ha there we go there we go so he's also stealing block removal so naskama maybe could be an answer to people's marvels but then we're just building him for that and wow well, Let's be honest, we don't just want to build one hero for one hero, right? Um, I did just read that. Obviously, we get Consolidation 2 at exclusive level 3. And also at exclusive level 3, we get the duration of all buffs, which is massive refreshing them. Passive. Grants all allies two layers of fish shell. At the beginning of each wave, consumes one layer of fish shell and restores self 3.2% of max health when the owner takes one stage of direct damage. Up to two layers, restores the allies fish shell to the layer cap at the beginning of the allies turn. This does increase up to 5%. Um, or 4.8% that would be actually, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, exclusive level 2 increases the layer cap of fish shell to 3 and reduces the skill damage taken by 10% for allies who have fish shell. 10% is nothing to be, sh you know, shabby about. That's a decent amount of damage reduction. Fish dive. Restore... <sighs> That's a terrible thought. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not even going to repeat. Uh, restores all allies fish shell to the layer cap and restores their health percentage to the same as the ally with the most health percentage. 
This skill cooldown cannot be affected by other effects. Uh, the cooldown is reduced on the skill ups and it is a four skill or four turn cooldown. Exclusive level one reduces the cooldown of all skills by one turn for all allies who have at least one layer of fish shell before fish dive restores the layers of fish shell. Now, like this is actually fine before <laughs> this kind of makes you think, wow, hang on a minute. We do kind of need exclusive level 2 with exclusive level 1. But then if that's the case, you may as well just go for exclusive level 3. But this is nice. But you're definitely going to want exclusive level 2 to make that work. And if you're going up that far, you have to push for exclusive 3. Okay? Right. That's that discussed. Exclusives overall. Let's have a quick discussion just so I can timestamp it. So level 1 reduces the cooldown of all skills by one turn for all allies who have at least one layer of fish shell before fish dive restores the layers of fish shell. Level 2 increases the layer cap of fish shell to 3 and reduces the skill damage taken by 10% for allies who have fish shell. Now, we just did talk about it, but level 2 really does bolster level 1, making it more effective. Level 3, Clean Ocean also grants all allies consolidation 2 for 2 turns and refreshes the duration of all buffs. Um, why do I get the feeling... That they're going to be bringing out another hero with counter-attack at some point. Because if they do that, right, that's almost going to make... Between Marvel and another another hero that does counter-attack, that would be beautiful. Because Consolidation 2 doesn't really do much here if we're using her with Catherine. And a lot of people will be using her with Catherine because of the counter-attack. Um... But I would like to see another hero who grants counterattack and just shield. Forget consolidation. They don't need to cleanse either. Um, it would just be interesting to see that. Aura. I have placed... Okay, fun fact. Fun fact first. Fun fact. I haven't got a hidden wave speed. I haven't got a single hidden wave artifact. Yes, okay, shoot me now. I'm getting this out of the way. I haven't got a single hidden wave artifact. Even though we've had two Marius events, I have been turning off Hidden Wave because I simply didn't have any Hidden Wave heroes other than Edith. Alright, so you can all complain right now. Write it down in the comments. Cards don't you suck. Um, you, you're free to do it. And so, alright, I have put a Speed Aura on there just because, you know, she needs to be fast. She needs to be fast. But I mean, what other Aura would I use? I mean... It, yeah. Recovery Horn Aura would be nice, you know, increasing that even more healing. Um, and say we're matching everyone's health together, say like Alahan does. If we're doing that on a skill and also using Recovery Horn Aura, then if we're matching to say 80% health and we can restore even more health on our allies, that would work very nice. But the speed is huge. I mean, you could even use Mastery Surge Aura. She is a support. She is a support. Um, you, you wouldn't use Combat Vanguard. You possibly could use Skill Master Aura. Um, I mean, you, you, you could. Even though that's mainly, mainly for Ben Austin, I feel. I feel. Um, extra recovery, no, uh, what's the other one, I mean, even the friggin' brutal recovery, no, not brutal recovery, ignore me, the urgent treatment aura, possibly, isn't there another one, god, I sound terrible right now, isn't there another one that also heals other than recovery horn, I don't think there is, I don't think there is, so yeah, I mean, like, the speed aura, I mean, you can't really go wrong with it, can't really go wrong. It is an epic, but if not, I'd probably just use the green for uh, increasing the healing done. Uh, emblems. This is the emblems I have currently gone for. I have currently gone for these. So if you want to go ahead and copy these, feel free. Um, I have taken Magic Touch, which a lot of people steer away from. Uh, the reducing the cooldown of the skill by one. Yeah, it can mess up your rotation a little bit on smart casting. But as long as we're using smart casting with the horn then um, it shouldn't be a problem. It shouldn't be a problem because they're only going to use that once anyway. Um, it would be more for a guild boss fight that that could have an issue. Uh, better and better is very good. And obviously we've gone for the speed. We've also gone for some healing as well. 
um, and self-help just for the survival, just for that survival. Uh, so yeah, feel free to copy that. Now, equipment, what have we gone for? What have we gone for on the equipment? And I can't, there we go, move myself. Um, also, just to add, this, this here has no chance to hit. We don't need, we don't need any effect it, okay? We can literally build her health and speed, as it suggests here. I mean, if you can get a little attack in there for a basic, that could possibly help. A bit with with the you know it, as long as it's just a sub stat, but you're mainly going to be wanting to go for health, defense, speed, effect resistance, so that we're we're you know pushing that out. Let me just quickly go through here. So I've gone for a speed set. You could go for a feather set. You could go for a first aid set. You're definitely going to want speed on them. You're definitely going to want speed. Um, that is your goal. She needs to be fast. She needs to be fast. Um, so yeah, speed, feather, or first aid. The other one is this one, whatever it is, and the effect resistance would be kind of nice. It's called dexterity. Um, I just haven't got any gear in that. That would be another nice one. I doubt a lot of people have much gear in that. And the substats that we're going to be rolling for, of course, is speed, um, health, if we can get it. Effect resistance is always very nice. And, um, I mean, defense rate, anything that's going to make a tank here, right? Anything that's going to make a tank here. I have got a healing effect on here. Now, I am unaware. Does, does anyone on here know now? Does healing Will healing effect increase the healing that she does? Because it's based on the ally's health. So I'm unsure on that. I'm unsure on that if that's going to increase the healing effect. I don't think it will, but it may do. I may be, I may just, I don't know. So I need, help me out. You know, I know, I know a lot of you say that, you know, cars that you've helped me a lot. But you guys have also helped me a lot too. Okay. It's, it's a, it's a two way thing here. It's a two way street, two way street. There are things that I don't know. It's that simple. And if I don't know them, I expect all of you to tell me. Okay. Uh, so the health rate and defense rate on this, obviously there's no speed substat on the accessory speed, healing effects, attack rate, defense, uh, no health rate there. On the artifact, I've gone for health and speed. I would have liked more speed. I just don't have one there. Um, I have put on healing effect effects for the moment. And that's not because I think, or I don't know if it doesn't, I don't know if it doesn't work. But it's because that was my best speed I had on another piece here. So that's why I took that one. Unfortunately, and I really do apologize. I did say this earlier in the video. I don't have a hidden wave artifact. So I can't make her even faster. And this could be a little bit of an issue with me creating content right now on this. Because I can't make her faster than some of my supports. You know, I mean, I wouldn't want her faster um, than... But I, I want her a bit faster. Okay, I want her like a little bit slower than another one, but still fast. If that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm sure that makes sense. Um, I think it makes sense. It does make sense. So let's have a little look. Let's test her out. Let's let's just test her out. See what we can do with her. Oh, a new day. A new day. Let's quickly collect my reward. I didn't do Guild Boss 5. Oh my god. Never mind. Never mind. It happens. It happens. Okay. So let's just go into how. No, because she's not a damage here. We don't need to check how. We don't need to do that. Let's go in to run. Let's just go into run 30 a moment um, with a team. Now, normally I would run. I would run Santa in here or St. Nicholas. Okay. I would run St. Nicholas here where Marvel is. Um, but I was doing a couple of runs. I know I said I haven't done much. I haven't done much, but I did literally try her in run 31. And it does work in run 31. So let's move to run 31. Um, so Marvel here with Quinlan, Catherine, Hisonia, and Nidrold. Now... I normally farm this with St. Nicholas, like I said. But let's just have a little look at how she performs here. Um, so the way that this will work is we don't need to freeze because the enemies will die. We don't need to use any uh, counter-attack or consolidation. So on this turn, she's going to do nothing. She's going to do nothing. We're just going to explode these with Hisonia. And then we're going to... I think I've done that the wrong way around. I think I was supposed to use the multi-hit on Nidrod again. We're not going to freeze. We're not going to freeze here. Uh, we are, however, we are, however, going to consolidation and counterattack. Now, 
Now that means that we can use fish dive and we can cleanse. So Catherine is currently on a two turn cooldown. So if we use this now, Catherine's cooldown is now one. It's now one. Crazy, right? That's crazy. Um, she is now ready. She is now ready again for when we come in to have the buffs available for the final wave. That is insane. That is literally insane. Okay, we haven't had to extend anything. We're literally just pushing through again now. So as you can see, consolidation is ready. Consolidation is ready. Uh, but for some reason, counterattack is at two. Wait, I don't use magic touch on my Catherine, I'm pretty sure. I'll double check that in one moment. Because why was counterattack at two? Not that it matters because, you know, we was just pushing through there anyway. And with the on smart casting, if you're using the horn, she wouldn't have cast it again anyway. Uh, so obviously we're at the boss. And we have consolidation counterattack up. We can now buff removal and the buff as well. Niskarma is on two. And now we have Quindon here ready to freeze as well. Oh my god, he didn't freeze. But he has laid another layer of health burn on there for Hazonia. So... Niskarma is, he, we could even, Niskarma's dead already, even without Nidrold here. The health burn will kill. But um, let's just use skill 2 on, on Nidrold here. And now, you know, you could just leave it to auto, but I just want to kind of have a look here to see. You remember, this is stage 31, you know, and it's clearly, clearly very good. The fact that we haven't got St. Nicholas in here. And I would normally be using him for this. You know, we're all full health, pretty much. Um, let's reduce the cooldowns again further. Meaning, Hazonia is now only one turn away again from using health burn. Um, so that's <laughs> that's crazy. Here comes a consolidation and shield again. And then we can... See, we wouldn't want to extend it now. We'd want to wait a turn. We'd want to wait a turn and extend it again. So, but it lasts, and then we can buff again on top of it. There goes, and it's only another health burn, because it refreshed. There comes the extension. So now we have the extended counter-attack. It's not going anywhere. Um, and we still got another turn before we get a consolidation back. But we, um, before we get our shield back, but we still have consolidation too. So let's just, let's just try and make it go another turn here a moment. Um, I don't want to kill you just, okay, you're dead. You're dead. But can you, like, that's vital kind of mechanics. That's kind of, that is vital. Um, because with Marvel, we can still keep that consolidation too and counter attack up. I mean, I know that Marvel does buff consolidation too as well. But the fact that we can keep counter attack up all the time is worth its weight in gold. It's worth its weight in gold. It really is. Um, let's just. I did try stage 33 earlier, and I'm going to show you on here now what happened, and it's probably going to repeat, history is probably going to repeat again, or at least it should, it should repeat again, um, but I believe it was a speed issue with my Marvel, if I had the speed it would have been fine, um, I didn't have it, I didn't have it. Actually, if I did have a recovery horn aura on my Marvel, then it would have been okay. Let's just let's just see what the hell happens. So obviously we're going to consolidate. We're going to shield and counter. We're now going to reduce the cooldown on our Catherine. Uh, we're going to obviously push through again, and we're going to use skill two. What did I use skill two? I don't think I did because I wanted still one turn, and I don't think anyone survives. Yeah, okay, so I don't know. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Um, or exactly what didn't happen. That wasn't a problem. But just while we're here now, no, it's not going to work. That's not going to work. Can't you? Yeah, exactly. It's not going to work. Okay, see, see, I, I will always put errors in my videos. Okay? I will always do that. Always do that. Um, let's push through again, and we're going to change how we did it. I didn't use skill 2, I saved it. I saved it, that's what I'm pretty sure I did. Okay, so we're into the second wave. 
Uh, we're not going to use anything on Quinlan here, but we are obviously going to consolidate and shield. Now we're going to reduce the cooldown. And we're going to just use our basics. We're just going to use our basics here. We're going to get hit. Yeah, okay. But we can take it with the shield and, and consolidation. That's okay. Mind you, some of you may struggle to take that damage. You know, my Sanctuary also does help a lot with this. Okay, no, Quinlan has died. Quinlan has died. So we couldn't take it. Hisonia has died. What? I think that was just bad luck. That's just bad luck. I'm trying again one more time and then I won't. I'll just say it failed, if not. Wait. Why though? That shouldn't. That shouldn't have. Why did Hisonia die? Down reduced, yeah. So we're one away from that. Oh, this is what I did. I am, um, I did bully on Walter. I did bully on Walter and uh, made sure that he died. Yeah, that's what that was. Now, everyone should so oh, Quinlan may go down. No, okay, everyone survived there. So that's what I did. And you could set that up as smart casting, but I'm unsure who Hisonia would use the bully on. So we're into the final wave. We have consolidation. We now have counterattack banks. Even though using it on wave two as well, we still have it available. Um, we're not going to use this. We're going to use that on the next. So we keep our consolidation and counterattack. And uh, hopefully we can land our freeze. We do. With the trigger of health burn, I've done it anyway. Probably would have. That would have probably been fine. Um, we're just going to use our skill 2 here a moment. Uh, basic. Now we're going to extend. Hmm. This is low. We're one away on both. Um, so that's already been taken down. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not trying to like. I'm just trying to see what everyone is at. Uh, so she's already at one. I don't know. I know that. That's okay. But I just wanted to see how that could have worked out. But mind you, you do need to remember as well. We're not just using it for the cooldown. We're using it for the health leveling as well. And um, that could have been something I did. That I could have waited for a good moment where someone was low, the others was high, and equaled out that health. Alas, I didn't. So it's pointless saying that now. So we're going to extend again. Oh, okay, maybe I am clearing 33 with it. Okay, sure. Shield isn't there yet. Is he going to nuke now? There we go. Um, it may still be enough though with need roll. Should be fine. But we will see. Uh, let's equal out health. Yeah. It's not good enough yet. Yeah. Okay. So it's very close. It's very close. If she was faster, would it have done stage 33? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But that's still a very late stage. That's still very, very good. And the fact is we don't have St. Nicholas in this team. We don't even have Combat Vanguard or in it. If we did, the boss would be dead. The boss would be dead. The same is going to work in the same kind of principle for every Every boss, but I did say I wanted to check speed, and I did say I wanted to check if I had magic touch on Catherine, which I do, which is an error on my part. I believe one doesn't, and this is a max health increase. This is for PvE, this one is for PvP because it has speed on it. I don't need this. This is oh my god, this explains why sometimes I've been running the way I have because my rotation has been skewed. That's getting switched. Okay. My bad. My bad, that is. Yeah. Uh, Guild boss. Let's have a little look here. And we're going to... 
we're not going to, I, I do really like Andres, but I'm not going to use him in this. I'm going to use my normal kind of team. Um, and we're going to remove... Who the hell are we going to remove? Who can we, who can we change from Marvel? Because... Okay. Maeve, I'm so sorry. Let's bring in Hezonia. And we don't have Combat Vanguard Aura on this team currently. We do have a Zero Star Skillmaster Aura though on Ben Austin. And uh, let's do a little line up here. Let's remove this Andraz one, which did do very well earlier, by the way. I was very happy with that. Uh, let's save this one in and quickly adjust the skills. So we start with Feebleness or from Vanguard. I like to start with High Spirited, then into Solid Guardian. We're going to... How are we going to use Marvel? Let me set her after. Let me set her after. No, we don't want Bully. We don't want that one. Um, how are we going to use Marvel in this? So, obviously, passively, we're taking 10% less skill damage. And we're getting healed from the fish shell on a hit. This cooldown could be interesting. We're going to start a fish water ball. We're then going to move into Clean Ocean. Is that going to work with Catherine? She's going to go first. She's obviously going to go second because she's slow as hell. Um, mm, 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 mm. If I was to... <laughs> No, you go second. You go first. Because I want to keep counter-attack up the entire time. I want to keep counter-attack up the entire time. Um, and it will go one turn. And it, yeah, okay, fine. It's done. It's too late. I've already done it. I've already done it, guys. It's in use. Let's have a little look. Remember, no combat vanguard aura. Let's just, let's just find out. Let's just find out. Remember that she's the boss will always have it's always gonna have feebleness on anyway. Um it would be nice to have an attack down on here because attack down would always be active thanks to Marvel, which would be hugely interesting as well. Hmm. It's really given us a you know, a kind of different ass and as well my Ben Austin is faster than my Catherine now. Oh for God's sake, I shouldn't have switched. Because as you've seen, Ben Austin just got stunned. He missed a turn. He missed a turn. So we have lost counter attack. Reduce the cooldowns there after Catherine has buffed. So Catherine's going to be coming around for another upcoming. Okay, interesting. Can we stack the same shield from the same hero? We can. We can. Okay, but remember, shields don't help with bosses any. Or with the guild boss, he he ignores them. It's just interesting that we can stack the same the same shield twice. No one's got killed yet. I spoke too soon. We did lose a nid roll. We did lose a nid roll. And we lost a Hezonia. Hey. I think 
with a hero that does attack, let's just say Visley, for instance, um, or Luna. But you've got to be careful because we can't take out too many heroes. Is there going to be another team that can do a huge amount? But who the hell would you remove? Think of anyone off the top of my head, like I just can't. Is there an attacker that does attack down? I don't think there is. I don't think there is. So 119 million without combat vanguard aura. Which isn't bad. Obviously, without St. Nicholas as well. Um, we did still die. Counter-attack wasn't up. Maybe there's a rotation that we can use that will properly work. Hmm. What, um... What mark is, is she? She's a blue mark. She's a blue mark, which means um, that she's going to be very nice with Igiliman. Mm, well, then we've got Guhana anyway for speed down. How good is she going to be for blue tower? Let's, um, I wouldn't normally do this. I wouldn't normally do this, but we are going to. Will we need Gilliman? We've got Nita in it. Oh, I, I'm not going to use Quinlan. I'm not going to use Quinlan. We're going to use Tuck with us. Um, Apologise again for another long video. But it's needed. You know, people. I'll timestamp it so people can move forwards. Um, we're just going to use basic attack here. There's it triggered it again. And we're just going to basic attack. We will freeze. And then shield. And then nuke. Yeah, and then we're just going to put on one one bash of... Oh my goodness. Right, now the fact is, you know, I'm kind of playing it differently. I'm forgetting that we can reduce the cooldowns of our heroes. And that's silly of me. So let's just reduce the cooldowns here. I know it is also a heal. Um, let's try and nuke Sinton here. Oh, wow, big nuke. Big, big nuke. Remember as well, we can cleanse damage over time. We have lost a hero, and that was Guhana. Okay. So we'll cleanse that damage over time at the moment. We are gonna we are gonna freeze and we are then gonna shield. I know we've lost Guhana, but let's just see how we can do without Guhana. Let's see how we can do without her. Um He should be dead. Let's just hit hold her, whatever. Yeah, okay. So we're going to be on to the final wave. We're a four-man team. What are the cooldowns like on everyone? What's Tuck like? Tuck is going to have his cooldown next. So that's fine. Um, he wasn't fast enough for the shield for that, though. But he is going to be fast enough for the nuke. He's frozen. Here comes the shield. And then we will use a nuke from Gideon to speed down the boss. And we will not nuke everyone just yet. So we'll let that turn go. And do we need to extend the buffs yet? I don't think so. Let's just reduce the cooldowns ready for Tuck. That's so big. That's, that's huge. And you're back around again. So there's the nuke. Now we can start to do what we need to do. Consolidation is up. And we also get another shield now. Not that it's needed, but we can reduce that anyway. How are we going to... Okay, this is how we're going to nuke them. With Nita, of course. So now we can see if that extends... Oh, we can't... My God. I'm doing terrible. 
I'm doing a terrible video, I'm so sorry. What is the speed? The speed down. What's the duration? Two turns left. That means it's refreshed. Okay, and we're going to hit it. That must mean it's refreshed. So he's had a turn. Okay, we're going to leave that and we use one more basic. I want to see. Hey, mate. Mate. Come on. Refreshing speed down? Bro. Say no more. Say no more. I say no more. We have got a nuke coming. I will not extend the I want to put Consolidation 2 up without a shield. I should have put a shield up there. I mean, you can see how good Consolidation 2 is because we hardly took any damage from the boss's friggin' nuke. Go Nita. Boom, boom. Um, now we can freeze and shield. And then we can do Gideon and things there. And hopefully Catherine dies now. Yeah, okay, good. So now we can... Oh, speed down. Didn't hit from Gideon. That's okay. That's okay. Let's refresh and cool down reduce. Extend this shield. So we at least have it. On Anita. Um, actually, we have a one turn. So let's not... Let's not do that. I mean, it probably would kill. And we have a two turn there. Okay. Marvel won't have the cooldown reduction. Um, right. We are going to fresh up the shield and, and double up shield on these two. Just because we already have the ultimate with Nita. Or the skill four. So it will come and look at that. Look at that. Just look at it. Obviously, we do have Combat Vanguard Aura on here with Gileman as well, but four man. Four man clearing Blue Mark 30. That is crazy. That, honestly, I think that, that to me, that's crazy. Like a four man team doing it like that. With ease. With ease. Um, Nita is amazing, yes. But Marvel really did bring a lot to the table there. So that I'm glad I did that. Okay, so we've seen PvE content and how she's going to aid other heroes. But let's have a little look at Arena. Let's have a little look at Arena. Now, unfortunately, I'm still not ranked up. I'm still not ranked up, so I can't target, say, Brynhild. But is there anyone here who removes buffs? Let's have a looky. No one yet. Using Melina. Oh, we got Fat Boy. Okay, we have got we have got a Fat Boy. What's up, bro? Let's get you in a video, dude. Let's let's get you in a video, dude. Um, let's bring in a. Need to be enough. Hmm. I mean, there's no CC here. There's no defense down either for this Brynhild. This is more a state of. How does it feel like? How is it working? Um, let's throw up that. Now, remember, it protects you against free buffs. Protects you against free buffs. Um, do we quickly nuke so that Brynhild survives? Oh, God. Wasn't expecting that. Why did she just do so much? Why did she just do so? What did she do? Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I need to find another Brynhild. Fat boy, if I come across you again, I'm sorry. 
but I will be I will be doing it again because I just need to sit. Um, Mammoth. But we did say about Nascarma. Now, although, see, this works differently. Mammoth steals, doesn't he? Steals. So, I know he won't be able to steal consolidation because that turns out to be. Does that turn, well, maybe he can. This is going to be interesting. What is he going to do first? Let me get rid of this nid roll. And, um, let me hit all caster. Okay, so he's buffed up first. That's fine, because he's immortal. Um, obviously you can see we've still got all of our stuff. But I want to see what happens when he goes to steal. Let me have to hit him. Just steal from me, baby. We're not going to strip you. Mm. Sorry for the singing. It wasn't even a song, it just made it up as a, I do that sometimes. It's cool damage use, and I need to see this is annoying. I, can only put, I need him to have a turn, but space keeps reducing it. Right. Has he got it banned? Is he not stealing? Oh, Jesus. Nisa! Apologise for that as well. We didn't get, even get to test it. You know what? Let's just do it easy. Like, let's just do it the easy way. Let's go into Hero Trial because I need to see. I need to see. I need to know if Mammoth is going to steal, but is going to remove. Enemy team, where are you, Mammoth? Please don't say I've gone past you. There you are. Um, let's just put Mammoth in. And we're going to put Marvel and Catherine in. Now. Let's just see what happens here a moment. So he's obviously taunted. All right. So why? No, 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 no. If Naskama can do it, you should be able to do it. A shield is not an attribute buff. Okay, it failed with Naskama. Okay, so let me now see. Uh, failed with Mammoth, sorry. Where is Naskama? He should be around here, if that's Sunset Sages. There he is. Because he's doing it in rum. What? Have they done a, have they done a hot patch? I'm telling you, watch this. What, why? Okay, okay. Okay, bro. Um. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm going to let him survive, right? Watch. Watch what happens. What the hell is that? No, not on auto, please. Oh, I'm just wasting energy. I'm so sorry. I'm wasting stamina. Right. Let's just, 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 just. Because I'm telling you now, Naskama, or Nasakama, however you call him, is removing the buffs. What's going on here? What have I done? Oh, I did the base. I am wasting stamina. Mm -hmm. Um... So they, he nukes, and then he excludes it, yeah. Um, and then, what was the right way we did this? It's on stage 31. Did we use this? We did use a... Mm. 
we did use this. And then we're just going to basic. Is that right? We used bully though, didn't we? But maybe that was on 33, so maybe 31 would be fine. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll be able to test it now. And am I going crazy or not? We'll find out. We'll find out live on YouTube, which isn't live. It's live for me, not for you. Um, right. Here comes the buff removal. Okay. All right. All well and good. All well and good. We're now, we should be safe, right? Because you can't do it in arena, clearly. Didn't do it in arena trial. Um, a hero trial. So we can now find out. And we're going to slow it down and all. I want the proof of this. So Niskama is going to survive. Right. And here it comes. Here it comes. Oh. And they must have fixed it. He was stealing this earlier. Which makes him e uh, makes Marvel even stronger. Makes Marvel even stronger. Wow, okay. So Steel is doing nothing. So I did say earlier in this video that... And, and I've done this the wrong way. That's why this is Steel, by the way. Um... Did that change? Did they fix it? Did they not? Am I just going crazy? I must be going crazy. I must be going crazy. It's up. Let me saying it this entire video. I know I seen. I know what I seen. I know what I seen. I know what happened. Um, but clearly it didn't matter. Okay, so how good is Marvel? I definitely believe her to be worth exclusive level 3. I feel like I'm going to be using her quite a bit. Um, I, I need to do much more testing. Consider this an initial kind of test. An initial build showcase for you guys to see. So you can help decide if you should pull for her. And I hope it has helped you. I do. I do hope, to, hope it's helped. Um, but the fact is that bus can't be stolen as well. Uh, that's huge. Because I thought buff removal was going to be able to be stolen. Thought it would have been able to be stolen. Maybe what happens. Okay. I've got it. I've got it. Um, no, I haven't. Because Niskama can remove all buffs, right? And it's not protecting the... Ignore me again. Oh my god! I'm just making myself look an absolute idiot. But it's fine. It's fine. This is why I get bullied all the time. It's fine. Um, is there anyone I can quickly attack? And I was saying about Marvel being... is I, I To me, I'm, I'm happy I've made an E3. I feel like I'm going to use it quite a few times. Um, let me just show you against a Brynhild here. It won't be able to remove in Arena. And that is huge. Like, that really is huge. It, it is. So here it comes, the buff removal. Um, we're not going to nuke anyone. We're just going to let it play out. Because I don't want need to destroy this person's team. Um, so Brynhild now should remove, unless he's got it set up a different way. There we go. So we're safe from the... We're, we're, we're safe. We're just safe. And now we can reduce the cooldown. And we're going to be able to counter-attack again with consolidation. I'm just using basics here. I'm not nuking. Can we kill? I mean, come on. I know that this person's team is, is a lot weaker than my team. I, I understand that. But we're just using basics here. Just using basics. And he's also got an Albeck there doing Albeck things. I did just use a skill four and space, but I'm using basic attacks. Ah! 
probably should kill this Nordak or the Albeck. That chance on Marvel is so low. It's so very low. You can see here, Marvel is on two shields, now one. Probably could have killed Albeck here. Is he low enough? Also should have extended the buffs there. Bad move by me, but the cooldown has made it so that we're already, you know, we're fine. In that sense. But we would have had to stack shields longer. I mean... <laughs> now... <laughs> Whoever's, if you're watching, whoever's, if that's your team, I, I'm not um, saying your team is bad, and I didn't, like, I'm just using basic attacks because I feel like it's important just to see the longevity of it. Is that even a word, longevity? Um, of using Marvel in a team and how the cooldowns work and that kind of thing. She's solid. She's absolutely solid. Fact is, you can't strip those buffs. And if it's extended by Marvel, Catherine will double up on the, on the sh 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 yeah, guys. I'm not uh, yeah okay. I did. I've I've gone on for a 51 minute video, far too long. I did a long one on Andras as well, and I'm just feel like I'm rambling on, which is normal. But I want to thank all of you for watching. I want to thank all of you that use Karzak Five, and I want to just thank generally everybody for supporting this channel so much. You're all amazing, and um, I know. Some some people are unhappy with the game at the moment. I know some people are still very happy with the game. Um, but we're still here. We're still pushing through. We're still making content. We're still supporting the game. And I am still very happy with the game. I am. Um, obviously, I get my days where I'm like, hey, bad patch. Or come on, change this, you know? Like, but that's normal. That's normal. So I'll, I'll find out in any game. I'll find that in any game. But without further ado, have a great day. Take care. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye, guys.